it doesn't matter what someone is born with, but what matters is what they grow. Age is a foolish and forgetful time that underestimates youth. Our analysis today is about a series of very interesting and popular movies. These movies have their own fans all over the world. The Harry Potter movies, which are English-American movies, are based on the Harry Potter books with the same name as the books. The author of these books is J.K. Rowling. In 1999, he sold the franchise to Warner Bros. with a contract amounting to 1 million euros. One of the notable points of this contract is the insistence of J.K. Rowling on the use of English actors in these films. The character analyzed in this video is a character who has many fans and is none other than Harry Potter. If you haven't subscribed to the Scene Psycho channel yet, subscribe because there are many interesting analysis of very popular movies and series and stay with us until the last moment of this interesting analysis. Harry Potter is an 11-year-old orphan who is wizard and lives in the ordinary world with his aunt, uncle-in-law and cousin, along with wizards, non-wizards. His ability is innate and children like him are invited to Hogwarts to receive the training they need to succeed in the wizarding world. Harry Potter has a mysterious character. His psychological personality is formed by various factors such as his relationships, personal beliefs, and experiences. At the beginning of the series, Harry shows low self-confidence and feeling of inferiority due to his social status as an orphan and the lack of understanding of his power compared to his peers. However, as the series progresses, he develops a strong sense of self-identity and self-worth, which is enhanced by his successful battles against Voldemort and his ability to inspire hope in others. Harry also struggles with grief issues. Having lost both of his parents at a young age, this trauma shapes his personality and motivates him to seek meaningful connections with others, especially his friends and mentors. In terms of interpersonal relationships, Harry is known to be very loyal and caring to those he cares about, often putting their safety above his own. His close relationship with Ronald Weasley and Hermione Granger, as well as his romantic relationship with Ginny Weasley, shows his capacity for deep emotional attachment and his desire for intimacy. Harry Potter has strong emotional relationships throughout the series. He is deeply attached to his parents, who were killed before he was born, and struggles with feelings of grief throughout his childhood and adolescence. However, he finds solace in his friendship with Ronald and Hermione, whom he sees as surrogate siblings. Together, they provide each other with love, support, and companionship, helping Harry cope with the challenges of life at Hogwarts and beyond. In romantic relationships, Harry is cautious and careful. Early in the series, he feels affection for Hermione, but keeps their relationship as sisterly because of his status as a friend and his desire not to complicate matters between them. He later falls in love with Jenny Weasley and the two have an intense emotional relationship marked by ups and downs including jealousy, misunderstandings, and conflicts. Harry Potter is shown to be a skilled social figure who can navigate complex social interactions in the wizarding world and beyond. While Harry may struggle with some forms of social interactions, especially with authority figures or people he perceives as hostile or dismissive, ultimately Harry is a skilled communicator who can form deep bonds with those around him. In addition, Harry is a natural leader who instills trust and confidence in those around him. Whether he's leading the battle of the Gryffindor student body or supporting Neville Longbottom, there are several other aspects of Harry Potter's psychology that we want to explore. 
for example, Harry is known for being fiercely independent and resisting powerful figures, especially when he perceives them as trying to control him or limit his freedom. This trait is shown in his interactions with Professor Mac Gongo, who initially finds his rebellious and disruptive, but eventually comes to respect and admire his strength of character and leadership qualities. Despite facing numerous adversities throughout his life, including physical danger, emotional turmoil, and betrayal by trusted allies, Harry remains optimistic and hopeful. This view is reflected in his famous line, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times, if you only remember to turn on the light, which shows that even in difficult circumstances, there is always a window of hope. There is hope found. Harry is also deeply empathetic and compassionate towards others, especially those who are suffering or marginalized. Throughout the series, he goes out of his own way to help those in need, whether it's providing comfort and support to Hogwarts students, protecting house elves from abuse, or defending the rights of Muggleborns like himself. Finally, Harry's psychological growth is marked by a growing awareness of his own limitations and weaknesses, as well as an understanding of the importance of humility and teamwork, as he learns to work alongside his friends and mentors to achieve common goals, he understands the value of collaboration and shared wisdom and becomes more open to learning from others and accepting feedback. These are just a few examples of the many aspects of Harry Potter's psychology that contribute to his compelling character and enduring popularity. By exploring these themes, we gain a deeper understanding of how his experiences, values, and relationships shape his worldview and motivations. Despite his moments of frustration and anger, Harry is generally portrayed as a calm person with a stable demeanor who approaches challenges with reason and logic. His decision-making skills and problem-solving abilities are crucial to the success of his mission against Voldemort, and he displays a keen sense of judgment and discernment throughout the series. Harry Potter's psychological journey and maturation is one of the change and the growth as he learns to navigate a complex and challenging world, emerging stronger and wiser than before. Through this process, Harry inspires others and demonstrates the power of human connection and perseverance. I hope you have enjoyed this analysis enough. Tell me in the comments if you have read the Harry Potter books or not, and whether the director was able to portray the story and the character of Harry Potter well or not. Subscribe to Scene Psycho channel for more awesome videos coming on your way. Thank you until the next time, bye!